Uh, hello, hello, and welcome to the, sh to the video. Uh, this is Gandalf the Airman. Um, I am streaming Persona 5 Royal, and I am playing... I am... I just got back from Momentos, so we did a quick uh, runabout with uh, the devil. So today is Saturday, and it's after school, and it's snowing. So, let's see, um, it's going to be a short video, um, let's see if Futaba is outside. Hey. Futaba is not outside, so let's go visit Haru. Is not here. Hmm. Uh, okay, so what do we do? So <coughs> Akihabara is down. Makoto is there. Sojio uh it might be done. Uh he's a let's see, air soft gun. Someone in the arcade. Hey, hey. <clears throat> so let's see. I think that's Ryuiji, right? That's Ryuiji. Man, I can't find anyone to hang out with. So let's go back to Yonga. <clears throat> uh, 
Fuck, I don't know. Um... I guess I'll go work. Yeah. There's no one available. I've never gone into this movie theater. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, what's up? All right, so. Go to let's go to a part time job. Uh, our shop. Hey, hey, it's not turning on the five. Who pays them more? I think the diner pays off them more. Oh, you know what? You know, there's something I have yet to do the bang bang challenge. Famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoyed the taste of victory. Please come again. You're hereby promoted to the rank of captain. No more challenges await you. But please do challenge again and show us who you are. All of us here at Big Bang Burger so will await your return. <coughs> I knew you could do it. You beat the Cosmic Tower. You were admirable taking on such a daunting task with intense courage. <laughs> Okay, so now it's raining. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey. So you are, man. Um. Oh, good. So. Tell you something unbelievable will happen. I'm still confused about it. You'll be able to make some time for me today. Actually, well, my mother finally talked to me. She told me that most of my m matches thus far have been fixed in my favor. She also admitted that she was the one who sold that story to the weekly magazine. I had no idea. I felt so ashamed. However, thinking back to back, I do recall m some of my opponents making poor moves at odd times. I've always wanted people to recognize my shogi, shogi skills, but I suppose I never really had any. It 
being so conceited as a result of those fake victories. <sighs> Why did my mother confess all of a sudden? It's as if she had to change her heart. Oh. Change her heart? A fan of thieves? That can't be. Perhaps they eavesdrop on our conversation. One second. I need to figure out what the fuck to say to, say to her. <clears throat> okay, so star. Maybe. Her heart changed. Yes, it was painful to hear the truth, but I'm glad that my mother had changed heart. Um. I've decided I'm not going to lose. Lose what? You're talking about. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I'm referring to exhibition match. I'm going through with it as planned. Before that, I'm going to confess everything. I know I received a lot of criticism, but I must ensure the truth is known. Mm -hmm. The next match will showcase my true talents. I don't know how I was, it's going to go, but I hope you'll watch. As your teacher, I promise to put up a good fight so I don't embarrass myself. I feel how much trust is in me is growing. <coughs> Alright. Um, I'd be lying if I told you that I'm not scared. My kingdom, my kingdom is a house of cards. I'm not sure if I can withstand a true battle. However, I intend to fight with dignity to the very end, as a queen should. There's a new move I'd like to test out for the exhibition. I look forward to it. Can you stay for another game? Please come at me with all you have. I'll start. That is, if you can get past the valiant knight who guards my Togo kingdom. <clears throat> Until next time. Well, it's me, May. I have a little bit of your time. I was just a little curious about your thoughts regarding my decision to reveal my fixed matches. That is, I support it. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. You're the reason I managed to make that decision after all. Our talks helped me realize I should play with the utmost sincerity. Ah, I'm sorry. I wanted to convey my gratitude for you. I was prepared for my exhibition match. So I'll be going now. I'll see you at the church. Sunday, but that time of relaxation is ruined by all the noise outside. Yep, no matter where I go, I keep hearing election speeches. It, it'll be fine if if that was all. She does calling himself a brave hero who stood up to the vile terrorist. Don't make me laugh, he's nothing but a rotten scum. It seems he's been using fanities as ammunition for his political activities. Two weeks until elections. It's been exactly two weeks since the news of exact suicide. We should probably hurry. He'll probably be killed if they if they learn he's still alive. No, no, be careful. We'll manage. We'll manage. If we work together. I know we can pull it with this off. Just give the word when you're ready and we'll come over. Okay, so... It's game show day. Now then. Oh, really? I can't shop? i 
Futaba, right? Yeah, Futaba. Talking on the phone about elementary school. She said the only reason she got mad at me about her diary was because she was embarrassed. Apparently, she thought I would hate her if I knew about her secrets. She so she ran away. Guess me and her are pretty much the same after all. Long story short, we made up. We made up. I finally apologized to her. It's incredible. I'm surprised you're so excited about it, but I'm glad. Anyway, it's, it's too far to actually visit each other, so we'll just we'll be sending emails back and forth. We'll, we'll even made a promise recently to both go to high school next year. You know, there's no way I would, would have been able to call her and apologize before. <laughs> it's all because of you that I can do it, exactly. <coughs> you worked really hard too. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's kind of embarrassing to actually hear you say it. Though. Oh, I almost forgot. Hana China was really surprised and offended that he's listened to her. She never knew the truth of the matter, though. <laughs> I finally finished that promise. Get along with Hana Chan. This is really important, so I'm gonna say it again. Thanks. Thank you. A second, I never ever said it the first time. I guess that means I just have to say it again now. Thank you, Zach. Seriously. Call strong bond. Top of it. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, um, is it okay if I ask you a favor, real quick? I mean, I just finished Super Old Promise. So, um, can you pat me on the head? I used to do it when she was happy with me. Just pat, pat. Can you do that? Uh, fine by me, that's all. Uh, that's all. Alright, all right, bring it on. <laughs> that was totally different from how my mom used to do it. My heart, my face, I feel like they're on fire. Pat, pat, calm down, Futaba. Phew, looks like that strange outburst is finally over. My heart's still beating really hard, but I'm totally good now. Sorry for making you worry. I just remembered, I still have one more promise to do. Be okay without my, without you around. <coughs> Can I really do this? Is that really possible? Find out some other day. Excuse me. Peace out. Uh -oh. Zach, thanks for listening to what I had to say today. So I've been having a lot of fun talking with Connie Chan over the internet. We talked all the time now. We tell each other what we're doing, what what our days are like. Kana Chan said she cried when I reached out to her. When I heard that, I kind of cried a little too. And now I'm getting along with Kana Chan. I'm so glad I cleared that goal. Congrats. What? More pet? Want more pets? Uh, want more pets? More pets? What? Don't tease me like that. I might freak out again. Anyway, I just have one more goal to clear. It's like I'm about to face the final boss. Once I beat that, it's game over. Credits roll. I hope you'll stick around until then, Isaac. Okay, later. Ah, you're back. Alright. Monster ability. Oh, 
stop talking to me. Yeah. Is he there? Oh, I don't want to spend money to just find out that he's not there. Ask you again some other time. It seems like the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I made from selling only sins do. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this, Pakistan. Think of it only, not only as an apology, but a sign of gratitude. Helping me see the truth. Nice. <clears throat> Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yoda son, what are you all doing here? That apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody has had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean the chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. None of it was made um, up. As the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in the seminars was a lie. The promise of great fortune, the power of the holy stones, and the need for donations are all lies. Doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even though times of finance, even, even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were. Yeah. Anyway. Even I know how horrible ADP schemes it was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. You, are you the one who did this to the beautiful maiden? Uh, you really don't understand. Listen to what Chihai is saying. Uh, you really don't understand. Shut your mouth. Can you stop this? He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who stood, sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me. But Maiden, this can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us with your mis mystery. Mis mystery? If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. Uh. But the only way we can change that is with your own conviction. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. But then how? Are we supposed to avoid our fate in this mystery? No. The curse is upon us. Maiden, please. <sighs> Will you shut your traps? We all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're gonna be miserable or not, all on your own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. 
You all got the strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even things bad if things are bad right now, it'll all be fine. So so long as you keep your head up. I'm gonna talk oh, to an oh. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry about that. All this stress caused me to lapse into country dialect. But I stand by what I say. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me for example. I thought I was destined to live in a, as a monster, but I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart. It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame I'm for that. With you. But that's what why I need to show you up the light now and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chahaya Mafune, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if your Koda son and the others will be okay. I know how they feel though. They want to cling on to the holy stones just as I clung to my role as a maiden. All any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Alright, so. Well, fate can be changed. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here they revered me as a maiden. Even though my heart continues to wander, yet I, you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> not the maiden, not the monster, just Chahaya, the Paga saw me. Thank you. Sorry for calling you so soon. I know, so I are you there? There's something I really wanted to tell you. You're the reason I managed to talk to you, everyone. I'm doing all I can support everyone at ADP for a while. If you're in trouble, please feel free to stop by for a consultation anytime. Okay, so. Uh. I'm planning on it if I'm ever in the mood. I want one of those stones. <laughs> I'm planning on it. Great, please. I want to help carve a path in your future. As Chahaya Mifune, fortune teller and emissary of fate. Whoops, I guess I sound a little too full of myself just then. Maybe I'm not a monster or a maiden, I'm just Chahaya. So, if you're ever in trouble, remember you can always come to me, okay? Well, good night, sweet dreams. Kachi is so impressive, I can't believe he's still in high school. Did you watch that TV special about the hero who took down the fan of thieves? I saw it too. It did make me like Akechi more. But honestly, now I'm a really big fan of Shido-san. 
I followed him no matter where he went. If he was my boss. <clears throat> God, can't these people see past their own fat noses? They're crazier than she know than ever. When I think about how he used us, damn it, it pisses me right the hell off. Well, it'll be fine. The better, the better his rep gets, the more I look forward to tearing it down. We'll make him own up to all his bullshit. Then they'll see who the real heroes are. Luigi, are you talking in the middle of a busy train? Say, Ryuji, what's up? What are you trying to, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I know. I just think it just looks strange. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can't be talking to yourself in public like that. Uh, you gotta, you know, pay attention. <laughs> Alright, that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be, uh, I'll be, uh, playing again tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for your comments and liking and subscribing and all that. Thank you so much. Goodbye.